So other guys, welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade. Um, we got some shit to examine in our room. Let's not examine the multicolored stains on the bed. Uh, there's nothing hidden underneath it, which is great. Can we? Oh shit! Oh, God, that's very jerky, isn't it? Holy shit! Okay. Um, <laughs> let's have a look at. Let's. How do I put my weapon away? H. Of course it is. Let's have a look at this note. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Uh, e. Hey, the password for your computer is Sunrise. Keep the cash in the drawer. It's yours. I dropped you an email with my address. Come on over after you get settled. Mercurio. Okay, Mercurio. We will do that. Uh, as a card. At your convenience, please come and visit me in my home downtown. I leave you this to guide you. Dark blood, our curse, alight this verse. Such power I sense in one so young. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. M. Strauss, Tremere Regent. Come find me where burns the mystical sun. Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, also... There's cash in this drawer, apparently. Sweet. A hundred bucks. Nice. Uh, and a computer. For fuck's sake, I keep doing that. Um, you have five emails. Five are unread. Email. Sunrise. Number one, a reminder. Mercurio will contact you when you arrive in Santa Monica. Waste no time in meeting with him. SL. Okay. Uh, next. Dang, it's big, you know, from hung low at trojanbotnet.vtm. <laughs> Penis enlargement? Watch the girls come running. Call today. 1-800-555-STICK. Brilliant. Next. Uh, Kilpatrick's Crime Pewter. Arthur at Dirt Cheap Internet VTM. Looking for that lazy ass ex husband who's late on his alimony payments. How about that jerk who knocked you up? Look no further. With King, with with Arthur Kilpatrick's amazing crime pewter, you can find almost anyone with a record, and these days that's just about everyone. So come on down to Arthur Kilpatrick's bail bonds. If we've got, if you've got the deadbeat, we've got the technology to find him. Hey, welcome to town. Come on over to my place once you get situated, and we'll talk about what you'll need to get the job done. I'm going to pack, pick up some explosives right now, some astrolytes. I should be back by the time you come over. I'm at 24 Main Street in number four. 24 Main Street number four. 24 Main Street number 4. Commit that to memory, guys. 24 Main Street number 4. Uh, watch the end of the alley, and my building is the next one on the right. The game begins. A pawn is moved. Okay. Weird as shit. Uh, quit. Okay, well, that was odd, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Um, Mystical Sun, 24 Main Street number 4. That all seems pretty legit. Right. Blech. Wedge myself in my own door. Cool. Anything behind this plant? No. Sweet. Can we pick this lock? I bet we can't. Failed. Okay. Below difficulty of five. Shit. We should probably invest in some lock picking. This one's open. That one doesn't even have a doorknob. This has got empty pizza boxes, a computer that I can't use, apparently. A shower. Anything in the cupboards? No, nothing in here. Fair enough. Let's close that and carry on. Right. Oh, the mailboxes. Here's my mailbox. There's nothing in there. Can't open anyone else's. Fine, let's go out into the street. Finally, the masquerade by revealing aspects of supernatural existence of human can put you at risk of ambush by human vampire hunters and invites the bath of your fellow kindred. Each breed of the masquerade costs one masquerade point. If you are reduced to zero masquerade points, you will lose the game. You got, you got some change, mister? Um, we appear to be all alone in this alley, my friend. And I'm yeah. fucking hungry as balls. Oh man, he does not have much blood. Okay. Sorry, mate, but, you know, I was peckish. Strolling out into the street. It's a bit weird. Is there a reason for this? Oh. 
There's a rather squished up guy over there. If I remember rightly, that may or may not be Mercurio. He's not looking too good. Uh, right. Let's... Uh, should we go there first? I feel like we should probably go there first. Um... There we go. Let's just have a quick look. Yeah, this is number 24. Okay. You're entering Elysium, and Elysium area is the domain of a powerful vampire. Here you will be able to attack or use your vampiric disciplines, with the exception of losing blood, blood buff while lockpicking. Uh, yes, I was aware of that. Um, number four. Here we are. Better close these doors, mate. You're looking a bit peaky. Let's just have a quick examination of the surrounding area. Absolutely nothing I can interact with. Okay, fine. Mothers, rip me off. I'm dying here. Oh no, he's dying. Are you Mercurio? Yeah. You looking for the astrolite? Yeah. I'm. Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They oh shot shit. Me, the bastards. Oh shit, son. The blood ain't working no more. Oh my no. Head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. Uh, stay with me. What happened? What is this lump? Is this my rib? <laughs> Holy shit! My rib is poking through my side. Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Uh, cut the crap. All right, all right. <laughs> Can't do with the one laying here with his guts hanging out. It was that freaking chemist. Guy makes his up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. Okay. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Mm -hmm. More of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junky pricks hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. Okay. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. So I don't think Mercurio is a vampire. I think he's a ghoul. The blood's the only thing holding me together. Shit, they got the money, they got the astrolite. Okay. Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. Those small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Mm -hmm. Maybe four or five of them. Mm -hmm. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Okay. Got my money too, that prick. Okay, how do I get there? I'm in a pool in my own blood and you are <laughs> in directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <laughs> Those better not be some of my last words. I think I remember the way, actually. Um, anything else? Gotta, gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him. Maybe break in. Reason with him. Know. Fuck off. I'm a bruiser. I'm going in there and I'm going to fuck him up and eat them. That's pretty much well, the plan here. Do I look like a fucking Toreador? I'm not going to flirt my way in. Uh, <laughs> uh, is there anything I can do to help you? Yeah, if you could. Something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Uh, I'll bring something uh, one more back. Thing about the deal. I mean it. Don't tell anyone about this. I'm dead. I'm begging you. <laughs> I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything. I can help you out. Okay. We'll we'll play good with you, Mercurio, because I kind of like you. Um, so we need to get him something for the pain. Um, we need to go down to the beach and get the astrolite. I can't remember the specifics of why we need the explosives. I don't think it... Was that explained to us at any point? Um, also, if that 24 Main Street is Elysium, that means a vampire lives there that isn't Mercurio. Someone who's probably his... Not his sire exactly, but his master. Because I'm assuming Mercurio is a ghoul. Um, a human who has tasted vampire blood. Um... Are you someone I need to be concerned about? No, I think you're just a normal dude. Um, there's a whole lot of shit that we can do. Let's try going into Trip's port, port, pawn shop first. Uh, okay. Hello. Uh, hey. Hi. Yeah. Uh, how's it going? You um looking at a buyer? Seller. Uh, I know, dude. Like, uh, what's your name? You call me Trip. I own this shop. Okay. 
Nice to meet Thanks. you, Trip. You uh, new to Santa Monica? Yeah. Uh, yeah. What is that to do it's around me. here? Santa Monica is dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. I've never even. I don't even know. I knew nothing about Santa Monica, Trip. I'm from England. Uh, I'd like to buy some of what you got. Today. You are unsure what benefits can be gained from this tome. You need a research skill of at least two to use this item. So he sells a couple of tomes. Huh. And you know what? I'm, I'm good. I can't afford any tomes, mate. But interesting to know that you have a really sort of understocked pawn shop. What are those? <gasps> oh my god. I don't know, but I want them. They look a bit like Atari controllers. Uh, floppy disk drives. That is a fucking... Those are Commodores or Amigas. Same difference, I suppose. Holy shit. Uh, a coffee machine. And a painting. Tilt my head. Of a woman... With her bobs out, I think, maybe? Possibly. Um, <laughs> never mind. We'll come back. We'll save up some cash and maybe put some points in research. The thing I know about this game is it's generally a good idea to build up some combat skills. Um, I've heard of people who've played this and gone full RP mode and then got to the final boss and couldn't actually kill him, which is why I'm playing as a Bruja. Um, that is secured. I remember there's some sort of code we need to get for that. Can we rummage in the bin? No, okay. Can I jump? Yes. Surprisingly fluty jump. Holy shit. Okay. Um, who are you? Oh, I remember this guy. He's a right toss pot. Uh, okay, I'm just looking for someone. Oh, man, wait. Say that again. Uh, okay, I'm looking oh, for someone. Man, you... You're a vampire, aren't you? Uh, this, is, this guy is like a fa vampire fanboy, I think, isn't he? He wants to be a ghoul. Um, vampire, what the hell are you smoking? Oh man, you are too. Don't bullshit me, man. <laughs> Just come clean, you know. I mean, oh man, I ain't gonna tell no one. It's okay, man. <sighs> do we really want to? Do we want? Oh fuck. Okay. What a douche. See, that's bullshit. This is one moment that breaks the cannon slightly. Is I saw your teeth. You can't see the vampire's teeth like that. They don't just walk around with their teeth out all the time. They pop them out when it's time to feed. They are, they are literally magic. Um, so, yeah. Name's Nox Harrington. Pleasure to meet you, or man. Pleasure's all yours. Leave me alone, jackass. Okay, let's ask him. Are you a vampire? How do you know all this? I didn't know about any of this stuff oh. until a couple of months ago. He's a genuine ghoul. Just and, well, all of a sudden, okay. Whoa, man. Well, you still that probably should keep it down. Right there in front of my eyes. Blew my goddamn mind. Wasn't it hard? Nope. My new boss has set me up. Okay, well, we know what a ghoul is. Whenever a vampire lets a human drink some of their vampire blood, the human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, oh man. Um. Yeah, <laughs> don't you mean wannabe vampire lowlifes? Uh, who is the vampire? Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's hmm. really cool to be talking to you just. Well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh, man. Well, other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? Do you reckon it's for real? Don't be an idiot. Of course you can tell me. Hey, man. Just because I'm a ghoul and you're some cool vampire, you don't need to treat me like crap. Okay? <sighs> oh, God. man. So agitated. I hate this guy already. To be honest, yeah, of course I do. Ghouls are lowly creatures. I I, uh, screw you! I don't need this. I just thought this it was cool to talk to you, but I guess the other day, that's completely true. Um, ghouls are lowly creatures, and humans are even worse. The kind of food, so fucking sort your shit out, mate. Um, what is this place? 
what is this place? It's just the medical center or the art gallery. I wasn't sure. I just sort of clicked it without checking. It is the rather dingy medical center. Damn, you creepy. Out of my way. And you are dodgy. Um not my What's the haps, bro? <laughs> What's the haps indeed, bro? Please wait your turn and you'll be seen. Oh god. Okay. It's a nice night out, huh? Shut up. What's the haps, bro? Who's this guy? Okay, well I'm not waiting my turn. I'm going elsewhere. Um, we might be able to get past her, but I think, I, I get the feeling there might be some sort of alarm. I think there's another way in, around the back. But I can't remember why we go in there. Really, we want to go get the astrolite, don't we? I should stop fucking around. We don't want to go to asylum straight away. What we really want to do is do Mercurio's little bit of mission. Um, beach access, beach parking, somewhere down here. Ah, down there, past. <sighs> what the shit? Fine. Hello. Hey, baby. Looking for a date? Uh, how much? For you, honey? Fifty American $50. dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. She's got to be a vampire. I don't think so. Uh, what does it say? Her name is. I can't read that because it, oh, female. Female says, "Hey there, need a date." She's actually got. Money tucked in her thong as well. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, she looks a bit suspicious, is what I'm thinking. One of these cars, there's something about a car and something in the boot. I think it's that one over there. Yeah. We'll come back to that later. I'm pretty sure that's important. Um, for now, let's get to the beach. Let's find these. The fuck? That was weird. Uh, let's find these dudes. What's the haps, bro? So many people say what that like, what's the haps, bro? Why do they all look slightly vampiric? Wow, you're you're scary. Um Public beach access. This isn't the right place. Just fuck off out of the way then. How do I get to the actual beach? Is this it? No. What am I not? Oh, beach access left. Uh, aha! I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Wow, you're that asshole. By the looks of it, you think someone tied them to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. Oh shit. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago. Uh -huh. Oh, werewolf maybe. Werewolves are legit. Okay, that's pretty weird. Who eats hands? Bullshit. Guy was literally slashed to ribbons. Worst part was waiting for the meat wagon. Look at the weird lights. I'm guessing they probably look better in the original game. Oh wow, he literally just said maybe it was a werewolf. Or a vampire. Or a vampire. Yeah, Ted. Asshole. Okay. So, suspicious shit going down on the beach. Roger that. Nothing hidden under the stairs. Okay. The vampire may push his body. Ah, oh, I've already read that bit. Urban areas have maps located on bus stops. Use the maps to see an overhead view of the area. Now, that is useful. You never know when that might come in handy. Man, god damn it. We've played for like 25 minutes already. This is insane. It goes so quick. Um, woo. Oh. Hello. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Yes. 
What? Those men you are looking for. How do you know? Never mind. You wouldn't understand. Weird. Well, that's new. <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. She doesn't look Malkavian. So, how would she know what I'm looking for? Still. How oh, very strange. Okay, lady. Okay. She sounded like a Ravos. You're entering a combat area. Sweet. There are no innocents. You can never incur a masquerade violation or lose humanity so I can feed till they die. Hello? Has that guy seen me? Can I sneak around? Guessing he doesn't know I'm here. What happens if I sneak closer? Help ya. Oh, hi. Um <laughs> Yeah, I've always wondered if it's true in chest and revel to be twenty feet long. Uh it's by some astrolite. Really? You call ahead? The men expecting you? Because he didn't tell me to expect anybody. Well really. Did he tell you to expect my foot up your ass? Night, asshole. <laughs> Mine too. Hey, oh, you have a bat as well. Son of a bitch. Whoa, son. Oh, right, okay, fuck you then. Celerity time, bitch. Okay. Oh, I missed. Oh, fuck, I'm getting fucked up by these guys. I think it's the guy shooting me that's fucking me up. Oh, no, it's this guy. Wow, I blocked that shit. Literally blocking. Okay, fine. <sighs> well, there you go. So blocking does fuck all. So we're probably better just using our powers and going sick. Oh God, am I going the right way? We came down the stairs, so it's this way. Hello again. Yep, yeah, thanks, bye. Okay. Let's try this again with more vampire this time. Come on, load up faster. Hey douchebag. Help ya. Yeah. I wondered if your intestines are twenty feet long. Hey, Motherfucker. Right. Surprise, assholes. Whoa! Jeez. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Give me some fucking blood, son. <sighs> okay. God damn it, they're still fucking shooting me. These guys are not dead! Fuck you. I'm gonna eat your entire fucking face. There we go. Oh yeah, what now, son? That's what you get. Jeez. Do I want their weapons? Yeah, maybe we can sell them. Got some Astrolite. Man, what a bunch of assholes. Um, oh, there's literally a vent. What the hell? What's this about? What? <laughs> That's pretty weird. It's a vent that doesn't actually go anywhere. Um, can't use their computer. 
This door just leads out here. Uh, whoa! Jeez, come here, get eaten, bitch. I think that was all that there was there. Uh, what is this? A car stereo. What is that for? And is there anything else I can take? Because that shit looks shiny, but I can't take it. No. Okay. Well, we got a car stereo. As well as a, um... A knife. Okay. I'll take your knife. What's around the back? I feel like there's probably another way of doing that, but, uh... What the shit? What does that do? Oh. You can literally go in around the other side. And lockpick your way in. With a difficulty four. Okay, fine. Well, we did it the, the proper vampire way. We ran in and fucked everyone up. Which, you know, is effective. We're back at full health. We got some fat loot. We got the Astro Lube, whatever it was. Can we steal their van? Nope. Man. Would be nice if we can take their van. Right. Let's really carefully go back down here. Because I remember dying a few times trying to get down there before. Because whoever invented this game doesn't know how stairs work. Shit. Okay. We're back to the beach. Uh, slowly go down here. And down here. And open this. And I guess that's where we'll save. Back on the beach with our Astro Light. We need to go see Mercurio, but we also need to go get him some painkillers from somewhere. Um, where's my save? There it is. Save my game. Okay. So we did it. We kicked some ass. We could probably talk to these dudes before we leave. Um... Can I run to the sea? No. Okay. Well, you know, that had to be tested, just in case. We can also go up on the pier. I'm pretty sure there's some shit going on over there that we might want to worry about. Um, there's music coming from their stereo. Can I turn that shit off? No. Okay. Right, fine. Well, that's where I'm going to leave it then, guys. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>